Hey everyone, this is Mir Hafizullah from Kabul, Afghanistan, and you're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs on YouTube. <laughs> You sitting there watching my video, or you standing up. Why are you standing? Sit down. Trucker Josh vlogs is beginning. Sit down. This is gonna be good. We're in Whitewood, Saskatchewan. We're the only idiots left in the lot. Everyone else is already gone. So we got about four hours to go till we get back to our uh, home terminal. This truck is going into the shop this weekend, so my wife has to come pick me up at the terminal. Uh, she's out with her friend today, so I'm gonna try not to inconvenience them too much by taking too long and making them wait for me. Though that would be sufficient payback, don't you think? Having her wait for me? <laughs> she wouldn't think that's funny. She wouldn't think that. She would argue that she always waits for me and she would probably be right. Let's get out of here. Put our sunglasses on so my eyeballs don't explode on me in this bright sunlight. Got my coffee, got my breakfast, got my weasel, walked my weasel. That's my dog for you new people. His name is Diesel. He's a weasel named Diesel. We gotta go. Here we go, here we go. Oh, and the wheels are turning. Oh, it's a good feeling, good feeling. Best feeling of the day. Actually, the best feeling of the day is when you finally get onto the highway. First thing in the morning. Especially if it's a nice day like this. Isn't that frustrating when, when you think you've been charging something, like I thought I was charging this camera for the past three hours, and then you realize the whole time it wasn't even plugged in? So the battery's about to die. I'll charge it uh, probably when I get home then, I guess. So we're, we're getting close to Winnipeg here where Britt is with her friend. They're gonna pick me up at work. And uh, this truck, like I said, has gotta go into the shop. And uh, and we'll head home. I'm hoping to be able to get some work done outside in the yard this week. Uh, I'm really gonna try not to get poison oak again, but I guess we'll see. I mean, I'm, I'm going right back out there. I didn't learn my lesson. I mean, someone's gotta do it, right? Poison Oak got me last time, but believe me, I'm gonna get it this time. Oh, I'm coming prepared. So I guess I will see you guys at home. Uh, I was planning on filming a bit more, but this camera's gonna die any second. Well guys, it was time to retire the old girl here. I'm getting a little bit tattered up here. This is the flag I had outside. This is the flag of Manitoba. It was just a cheap polyester flag. It was just a temporary one because I didn't have a Canada one to put up there in the meantime. So I left this up through the winter. This is the flag of the province that I live in in Canada. Very much like Ontario's flag. The only difference is Ontario has three golden leaves in here and we have a buffalo. That's how you can tell the difference between the flags. They're very similar. Other than that, it's exactly the same. Yeah, it looks a lot bigger on the counter. Eh? I replaced the, the flag out there now. It's not blowing right now. Come on, baby, blow for me. Come on, fly. I put a nylon Canada flag out there now, so that should last a little longer. It'll probably fade before it tears and rips, but... Seems like I have to replace them about once every year. I like to do it in springtime because having a, a fresh flag out there with the bright colors, it, it stands out more in the summertime than it would in the wintertime. Huh. I'll have to show you later when it gets a little windier. It's going a little bit, going a little bit. She wants to fly, she wants to fly so bad. There she goes, there she goes. Beautiful. All right, so now that that's done, Britt is uh, in town. She went to do the grocery shopping and I had to stay home because I need to get some vlogs and some other work done around the house here while she does that. And this way I can get it done quickly. I can just pump them out without any distractions because she's a little distracting in a good way. <laughs> that's why I married her. But uh, 
yeah, they, it looks a lot bigger once it's close up, eh? It's a three foot by five foot flag. And that one out there is the exact same size, but it sure looks smaller once it's at the top of the pole. This was the original flag when we bought the property that was up there. The previous owners, I guess, put up there. And this was only polyester as well. And polyester's fine. I mean, it's a cheap flag. If you want to buy a polyester three foot by five foot flag, it's like five to ten bucks. Uh, the one that's out there now, that's nylon, that's the high quality flag, those are about 20 bucks. But yeah, she served her purpose. Uh, she lasted about a year as well. So judging by these two flags that I've had to replace already since we moved here, they last about a year up there. So next spring, I'll have to get another new one. And I'm sticking with the nylon. I'll pay the 20 bucks. It's 20 bucks a year just to have a proper and decent flag flying. I'm hoping it won't fade as quickly either, but that's okay, you know. When the flags fade and tear up, that's when you replace them. It drives me nuts when I go past businesses or, you know, public places especially. Especially if it's like a government office of sorts or something. Something important, right? And they got faded and torn flags flying outside. Drives me nuts. That's so disrespectful in my mind. You should always have a nice, new, brightly colored flag. You Americans know what I'm talking about. Not all Canadians share that flag enthusiasm that I do and I know most Americans do for your own flag and you guys know what I'm talking about but yeah, it's time to fold them up and put them into retirement well put her back into retirement and she can join her make sure you fold them up nice whoops Whoops, I dropped it. No, oh no. Fold them up as nice as you can. Ah, oh, she's torn, that's why I keep. Don't let her touch the ground. Hey, again? Man. Flags are not meant to touch the ground. Hold it nice and even. Best you can. It's hard to do it when they're old like this, but. I'm not gonna do the whole military fold, don't worry. I'm just gonna do the best I can here. I think she'll understand. All right, so we're moving all of these sticks over to where uh, they're not here. Slowly cleaning up the yard. I'm gonna start off in this section and move our way back. We got quite a bit to, quite a bit to get done. Whew, always so much to do, so much to do. So I'm gonna do a little bit more tomorrow. I'll just leave that there for now like that. And head back inside. It's time to start thinking about supper, I think. You can only do so much in an afternoon. We've got company over right now, so this is all I got done. That's okay. Britt's friend, uh, well, our friend Amy from Alberta came to visit us today. So I'm just out here checking on things in there inside. We're about to barbecue some steaks. Poppy has decided to come and hang out with us. Can you see her? Right beneath that big window by the ground there. You see her? See how close she'll let us get. I'm gonna have to zoom in on this GoPro, so forgive me. What's going on, Poppy? I'm your friend, I'm not gonna hurt you. Can you see her? Oh. It's okay. Oh, she went down in there. <laughs> oh, oh, there she is. There she is. Diesel, no. No, no, Diesel. Diesel, you go. Get out of here. Hey, Poppy. Don't worry, I'm a friend. I don't know about these guys, but I'm a friend. Hey, Poppy. Her name's Poppy because she keeps popping her head out of here. Gonna stay. I mean, that's her little, her little entrance there. Hi, Poppy. What's going on, man? <laughs> Diesel, you leave her alone, okay? Leave her alone. Don't harass her, okay? I don't want an HR complaint. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'll heat it up. Let's do this. Got our steaks right here. Oh, it's gonna be so good. I've like adopted the bucket phrase, you know, that's my mom. 
cilantro now. I love that. Yeah, right? And I like plain stuff. Yeah. So you can match it with anything. You can get more bang for your buck that way. Oh. Oh, that's Chevy. Chevy's broken? Yep. Chevy. Do I have utensils too? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, actually, this is yours. I was just using it to grab you my stuff. You were using my fork. Mm -hmm. Yep, married life. Hashtag. Hashtag. I put the hashtag after though, because I'm I'm a rebel. Yeah. <laughs>